there. So things work again. I will play play this for a few minutes before work. I gotta go get ready for work shortly though. Shortly. So let's see. Farm name. Uh Yeah, farm name. You'd think something would just would just come to mind at this point, but it's not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do radish farm with two D's. Uh, hmm. Do I want to keep this PG or not? That's the question. Yeah, I'm going to uh, force myself to be a Gentile streamer. Let's see. Favorite thing? Uh, pants. Pants are pretty cool. Oh man, look at those ankles. I think that's me though. some stuff. Is that Santa? Santa's got a letter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Let me squeeze. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. You're so helpful. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. <laughs> oh, let me squeeze a couple times. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Dying son. Now let Grandpa rest. Ooh, twenty years later. Wow, this is this is too real. This is hitting too close to home right now. Oh man, look at this cutscene. Oh, there I am. This is pretty funny, actually. Nice, a skeleton. That's cute. I'm so fed up with modern life. The crushing pace. That Windows 3.1. Oh, it's time to use the pencil. I just want to get back to work. I don't care about Grandpa. No, Grandpa. It's not what I want. Close the drawer. Fine. Dear Jared, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Radish Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. 
If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Alright, that's it. Dropping everything and heading out. Which is kind of ironic, a video game teaching you about social connections with people. It's And it's a single player game, so... Yeah... Hi everybody. Hi all my friends. A half mile. That bird's gonna get shot. No, it's not that kind of game? Okay. Hello, you must be Jared. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Damn. Robin's my wife. Look at this beard, babe. This is Roddish Farm. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Look at all this stuff. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Mm -hmm. And here we are, in your new home. What? Somebody's in my house! Ah, the new father! Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone here has been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rusty, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! He's so mad. Don't listen to her, Jared. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Yeah, he showed you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. My eye, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it here in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. You, f you, oh, yeah, I am. You creep. You're so creep. Well, good luck. Town's filled with a bunch of weirdos. And probably by, uh, you know, probably by, like, the next time I talk to somebody, I'm not going to remember their voice, so we can just get over that right away. Yeah, chop that present. Oh, parsnip seeds. Where are my radish seeds? I don't even know how to... Yeah, whatever. Welcome to Kazu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. I don't care. Look at that bowl. What? I just grabbed a bowl. Where's my inventory? Oh, that's pretty neat. Let's chop some stuff. Number five, just gonna let me get right in the action, huh? Oh man. I feel like a farmer already. This is the game of the generation. No, seriously though, I would love to have a... I've wanted it since I played Harvest Moon 64. And... Uh, I would love to have a 
that's weird, never mind. Um, a multiplayer, or more social version of this game. As far as Harvest Moon is concerned, while we're on the topic, uh, personally, my favorite is Back to Nature for the PlayStation 1, because it took everything that the N64 game did so well, and it did it even better, and it fixed a lot of the minor gripes that the 64 version had. Like, uh, in the 64 version, you... All of the NPCs, they had, like, places they'd be at certain times of the day, but if you stayed on the same screen, they wouldn't move, they were just, like, static. And that was kind of annoying. It took away from the experience a little bit. Not that it wasn't a good game, because I played a lot of Harvest Moon 64. Um, but Back to Nature on PlayStation was basically using the same ideas from the 64 game, and then they gave uh, they gave the NPCs agendas throughout the day, so they would actually you know move on the screen. They would leave the map. You couldn't just sit there with Karen or Anne all night long until four in the morning while they just stare blankly into space, so that was pretty fun. Um, I got some fibers. So, so far the interface is pretty good. I don't have any issues navigating it yet. Apparently they're supposed to have controller support as well. I feel like... It's... I don't know. I guess maybe if I wanted to be in that comfort mood, or comfort mode, I would play with controller, but it seems to work pretty good. Because it has potential to be a console game, I don't know if it'll ever make it that far. But it's been pretty well received, so... Alright, you know what, I need... I need a place to plant stuff. So... Where is my stamina? I have no idea. Can you catch butterflies? Guess not. Do you have a hammer? Or is that a hoe? That looks like a hoe. That works just the same. Yeah, an online, actually social version of Harvest Moon, I think we can all agree, would be a good thing. So yeah, hopefully the developer got enough support and he plans on adding some co-op features, some social features. I don't expect it, but... isn't strong enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. I don't know how the seed system in this game works, so we're going to dig a 4x4 and see what happens. I think it's probably going to be like one seed per uh, six. sense. And three, we have a water bucket. Yeah, the thing about Harvest Moon is it would mess me up each new game because they would implement a new pattern to their seeds. I like the original 3x3 design, but it, uh, it posed a problem if you always wasted some seeds trying to plant efficiently. You'd stand in the middle, for those of you who haven't played Harvest Moon, you'd stand in the middle of a 3x3, assuming this is a 3x3, and you